I want to be a writer, but my family is stuck in another century. Writing isn't a job. I need you to do more. Make a wish, beta. Kiss a girl and get out of this dump. Bruce the direct line to all this true world. Seriously, what does he know about our world? It is the yes. Getting some uh, Bohemian Rhapsody vibes there. That's a good call because yeah. we had Bohemian Rhapsody, Rocket Man, so the musical biopics are big right now. This one is a bit of a twist. It's not the life story of Bruce Springsteen, nor is it a documentary. It's based on a true story, though, and it's a coming of age comedy drama about a young teen living in 1980s Luton, England, and he's from a Pakistani immigrant family. He wants to become a writer. The family, well, the dad particularly wants him to become a doctor or a lawyer. Uh, he's got dreams of, of writing and he gets inspired by the music of the boss Bruce Springsteen and you see these great stylized shots where the text of the lyrics appear on screen I really enjoyed that kind of stuff so it's got this eclectic vibe and some really vibrant performances grounded beautifully by Vivek Kaura the lead who this is like a breakout role for him he's gonna be a major star and this movie was directed by Gurinda Chada who gave us bend it like Beckham oh okay. yeah another nice British film exactly so yeah. she's no stranger to these kind of films uh, it looks at uh, the complicated issues involved in um, multiculturalism and growing up in this industrial town in Britain. And people may wonder, how did this guy connect with Bruce Springsteen's music? Well, there were a lot of parallels between where Springsteen grew up in New Jersey and the kind of economic strife they were facing at that time, mixed with what was going on in this particular part of England uh, in the 80s. So I thought it was great. The plot's pretty thin. Uh, I wasn't really surprised by where any of it went. And it does have like familiar tropes, as we call them, like those kind of beats that they hit on that you seen in these kind of movies but it's really sweet overly sentimental at times maybe for me but i'm going to recommend it it was a rousing genuine crowd pleaser yeah i mean i love bohemian rhapsody so uh do you have another clip uh no we're going to look at another movie after that so the verdict for this one three out of five three out of five yeah. okay not bad and you'll be humming bruce springsteen for days i tell you it's nice. jam-packed with his hits Perfect. All right, our next movie is Loose, and an all-star student's reputation becomes tarnished in this new character drama. Take a look. With the climate around school security the way it is right now, you can understand my concern. Yes. Which is why I felt I needed to search his locker. I'm sorry. Amy, he wrote a paper. A paper in which he describes his belief that the solution to a political problem is to gun down those with whom you disagree. Right, but he was assuming a character. The assignment called for this, and you... I found this in his locker. First met my mother. Okay, I won't tell you what's in the bag. Octavia Spencer <laughs> is his teacher, and Naomi Watts and Tim Roth are his parents. Oh, they had, such a good cast. I know, they're dynamite, and they adopted him from Eritrea. He's got a checkered past, but he's like an all-star student, athlete, he's like the valedictorian, but then these kind of things start coming up, and people start questioning who he really is, and I love movies that don't serve you everything on a platter and explain everything. This movie left a lot of things unanswered, so I like films that challenge you, and you mentioned the cast. They're never competing for screen. Time, I thought the characters were so beautifully fleshed out. And this movie has some deep, deep themes that it examines beautifully. It subverts stereotypes, and it really looks at the lengths that will go for the people that we love. Oh, nice. And I'm, I'm sure some great performances as well. Oh, yeah. And led by Kelvin Harrison Jr., he plays Luz. And again, we talk about breakout roles. He will be a household name after this movie. And it's uh, expertly directed. I really enjoyed the uh, score. It's got this really nice atmospheric, kind of electronic based um, music to it. And Naomi Watts and Tim Roth and Octavia and Calvin. They're all sensational and there's a couple of other cast additions that really make this whole thing gel. One of the finest dramas of the year. So wow, don't miss Thor. Loose. Yeah, really enjoyed this How one. many hammers? Wasn't quite perfect, but I'm going to totally recommend it. Excellent film, four to five. Four to five. Yeah. Okay, two great movies to see this weekend. That's great awesome. Great weekend for flicks. Yeah, check yeah. both of them out. All right, we're having Watch This Time when we come back and